Transitions, grades K through 5. Transitions are those times when students move from one task to another or from one activity to another. For example, the class is transitioning from a teacher-directed reading lesson to working independently. Or, math is over and it's time to go to lunch. Transitions can be problematic because students often see them as a time to misbehave. But it doesn't have to be that way if you make your expectations for each transition clear with the help of CHAMPS. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Thank you very much. I have 100% participation within five seconds. Hands down, eyes on me. We are getting out a book. We are changing over to reading. So I would like no voice level. We are on a zero. If you need help, I need you to raise your hand. I am going to tell you and write, the write on the board the book and the page number. Within 10 seconds, I expect all students to have the book on the proper page and be waiting quietly. Remember, we are on a zero. There will be no movement. The only thing you need to do is reach under and grab your reading book. As soon as instruction is given, you will open your book quickly and quietly and wait for further directions. The last step is the attention signal will be used when we need it. At this point in time, will you please open your reading book to page 90. Let's watch again. This time the students will be lining up. We are transitioning now. Here are my expectations for you. Your conversation level lining up and in the hallways is always on a zero. That means you are silent. If you need help at any point in time, I'd like you to raise your hands. Our activity is that you will be standing up and walking quickly and quietly to our line. I would like you to line up with one tile space between you and the person in front of you. I can tell that you're participating because you will stand, walk quickly and quietly to the single file line. When we enter the hallway, I want you walking on the line facing forward. Notice how specific the teacher is being with his expectations. This helps ensure that he gets the desired behavior. Okay, we are going to prepare to line up now. Row three, will you please stand and walk quietly to the door. Students in their seats, I like the way that they're walking quietly. They're lining up with one tile space between them. Row two, will you please stand and do exactly as row three just did? Notice he releases the rows one at a time, reinforces his expectations, and gives positive feedback. I like the way that your hands are at your sides. I like the way that my students are facing forward. Row one, will you please complete this beautiful line? Let's watch as the teacher continues to reinforce his expectations as they travel together through the hallways. I like the way each student has their hand on the railing for safety and is going down the stairs one stair at a time. This time, they will be moving from center to center. Your conversation level when we are at centers and moving from center to center is at a zero. That means I should not hear a sound. If you need help while you're moving from center to center, I expect you to raise your hand. Thank you for that excellent example in the back. I know you're paying attention. Your activity is that you will listen for bell sounds to tell you what to do. If you hear one bell sound, I would like your undivided attention on me. When you hear two bell sounds, you will clean up your activity and move to the next center. When you hear three bell sounds, I would like you to clean up your activity and return to your seats. You will be moving during this activity when you hear the correct bell dings. I will know that you are participating when I see you moving quickly and quietly to each center. In this instance, the attention signal is the bell. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we are preparing to go to centers. Row one, will you please stand and go to the Technology Center? Notice that they're doing so quickly and quietly. Row two, please stand, Science Center. Compliments to each group for moving quickly and quietly. I can tell that you are participating because you're getting right down to work. You'll notice that his expectations for different transitions vary depending on the activity and that he has clearly communicated these expectations to the class. The higher structure your class, the more tightly you'll format your transitions. Either way, it is not as important how the expectations are conveyed, but that they are conveyed. Communicating your expectations for transitions clearly will help you manage them most effectively and leave more time for learning.